afternoon, how are you guys? I thought I'd vlog today and I actually started vlogging a couple of days ago when I went for laser hair removal um, so I'm going to insert that clip first but I was in a bit of a rush so I didn't get to introduce it and everything but I've been getting laser hair removal. I have a video all about it actually when I first started but I'm now on to my stomach or the last few sessions of my stomach and then I'm going to go on to my bikini line. I love laser hair removal and I 10 out of 10 recommend it. Um, I go to Pulse Light Clinic, the one on Tottenham Court Road. So yeah, I thought I'd insert that clip. It's so unflattering, by the way. Like, I'm not the happiest with my body, but there's also nothing wrong with my body. So I thought it'd be useful to show you what it looks like in action. I'm out on a last minute spree. Never feels like anything. <laughs> Thank you so much. Some months ago, I went to their other branch, which is massive. I think it's on Bank. Um, just straight down the road when you come out of Bank Station. But I went to that one to see a demonstration of a new machine that they've got going on, and it's cool sculpting, which is basically fat freezing. I kid you not, it, it looks like a bloody miracle. So, you know, that banner that I would have just shown you in that clip that's kind of showing you the befores and afters of all this fat freezing. They gave us a live demonstration and everything. <sighs> I'm really, really considering it. I do want to like get myself to the gym first and get myself in a position where I'm really happy but it's non-invasive and it just firms and tightens everything up and they actually have an up to 60% off discount at the moment with the code FATFREEZE. I'm not sponsored by them or anything but since they have that going because obviously they share that with their loyal customers I thought you know what I'm going to share it with you guys in case you are doing laser hair removal or if you are looking for something to kind of firm and tone up your body you can use it on literally everywhere it's like this it's a machine about this uh this wide let's say you can put it on your arms under your chin your back love handles whatever and just get it a little bit firmer so if you feel like you've gone to the gym and you've done everything you can and there's just that little bit that you're a bit like Oh, that could shift but nothing I can do will shift it it's a great option for you so I thought I would share that with you now today we are getting super Christmassy um, I've gone to this little heritage museum in my town since I was little me and my mum used to go and I'm sure I went with my school as well I tried to take Alex a couple years ago but turns out they were refurbishing the whole place and they've finally finished it so they're doing this christmas market for their big launch so i'm going to take alex along and i'm going to take you guys so we can get all in the festive spirit i'm really feeling it then i've got to go into town and return those asos jeggings that you saw in my last vlog or one before that i'm returning them just i'm just not ready for them so i'm returning those then I'm gonna get a few hair bits and bobs, but I'll show you all of that when I get back. I love spying on the houses around here. Oh my God, and this one is like one of my favorite houses as well, because look how covered it is. Could you imagine? Maybe it's the blogger in me, but you get no light in there. Crazy. Here's Al. I thought I would just show you so that they know, know that you're coming with me because I don't know how much you'll actually be on it. But he's not feeling very well, bless him. He's run down, got a bit of a cold. A bit under the weather. Yeah, this time of year. I'm still dragging him out. So festive, I can't. Hope 
hoping to find that something that makes you see that I love you. One thing I think I forgot to mention with my laser hair removal is, you see how I was only doing like the tiniest patch? That's because I basically don't have any hair left there anymore. They were like, I think, I don't think I caught it on camera. They said, you know, the only little bit of hair that I even have left is so light and minimal now that they can't actually laser it. They'd end up lasering skin. So I've taken to the treatment really, really well, which I'm pleased with. And you know, the more I do it, because if you have watched my laser hair removal video, I talked about how I wasn't that bothered to do my legs because, um, you know, my legs are covered like eight months of the year here in, U in the UK. And my mum's leg hair, does <laughs> I'm just exposing my mum. My mum's leg hair doesn't grow anymore. So I'm hoping that mine will go in the same direction, but I don't know. The more I do it, the more I'm like, oh yeah, you know what, throw the legs in too. So we'll have to see. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really pleased with the results on that front. Now what I really switched on the camera for was some really great news. I got into drama school, so I'm going back to drama school. I am so, so happy. I had my audition on Tuesday. Uh, it was like a workshop style audition, so lots of improvis improvisation and group work and seeing how you just work off the cuff with people. And then the last part we grouped off into pairs and did script work and we had to kind of literally present that and then take direction. So yeah, so then like on the Friday I got an email saying I got in and I'm so, so, so pleased. So I'm just so looking forward to 2018. I just feel like, screw it, I'm gonna say it, 2018 is mine for the taking. There is no reason why I can't be great. It's only my own mindset that lets myself down. And I noticed that about myself is I have all the ideas, I have all of the tools, but I, I let myself down often because I fear, I, I have a fear of failure. So I'm like, why bother trying? Um, but that's not the way to be. I remember when I was in school, I used to get told all the time. I always tell this story actually. I failed my A-levels actually. I failed my A-level English. I got a U, which is unclassified. Like I may as well have not turned up to the exam. It's not even having an E or an F. It's literally what happened. And so I applied to retake it. And my teacher was like, you know Zara, you're not gonna get higher than a C. Cause obviously I wanted to go to uni and I don't know how it is now, but you had to like have a certain amount of points. So he was like, I don't think you're even gonna get more than a C. But for some reason, when somebody tells me I can't do something, that's when my brain kicks in and I'm like, screw you. So I didn't just get a C, I got an effing A. I went from having literally a U to getting an A. And it's because when I do try, <laughs> when I do try, I can do it. I just need more self-belief. So I just feel like 2018, I'm old enough now, we're not messing around. I'm gonna be successful. I want this channel to get to 100K. I want to do my acting. I want to perform in something professionally at least once. I am more of a stage person than TV, but you know what I'm saying? I'll take it. Um, yeah, I, I'm just really pleased. And I hope that what I have in my head of, a, of my goals and everything, I hope everything just carries on in that direction. So I'm going back to school and I'm really, really, really pleased. So I wanted to share that with you because um, I did say that I was trying. <laughs> but I did pick up a few things today at the shops. I say a few things, they're all hair related funnily enough. The first thing I got was Olaplex. I'm actually gonna do a video on this. I might even film it right now because I wanna wash my hair. My hair's a mess. Um, I got the number three hair perfector. This is the one that you use at home. Shea butter so I can stop being lazy and actually make my shea butter mixture. Two cans of the Colorista Grey hairspray, temporary hair color from L'Oreal. I've tried the blue one. I'll leave that video down below if you haven't seen it. But I figured I would try like icy grey. So I figured that could be a really fun 
part to vlogmas so that's another hair video and I think that's everything that I got I also got this candle from prices it's I think I've got one other one or no I've got their diffuser and it works really well it's like the eliminating odor type of candles and diffusers and I think they work really really well and just because it's Christmas I thought I'd get this one it's the mulled wine fragrance with extracts of apple and cinnamon it smells kind of more cherry like to me but I think it's really nice so this is going to be the Christmas candle for in here in the bedroom and then I've got a massive Yankee candle for the living room that's a Christmas fragrance yeah that's everything I'm gonna eat my food in a second and yeah let me know your 2018 goals we might as well start planning them now I didn't realize how far into December we already were it's crazy but yeah I'm really excited.